If you've been watching Tap Out Corner for a while, then you probably know that I'm kind of a fan of wrestling and superheroes. They're great separately, but it is awesome seeing them cross over with each other. And back in the mid-2000s, that's just what happened on a show called Smallville. In case you don't know, Smallville was a TV series about Clark Kent before he became Superman. There's more to it than that, but let's just cut to where the wrestlers show up. At the beginning of Season 6, Clark gets trapped in a dimension called the Phantom Zone, which is used as a prison for the universe's most powerful criminals. When Clark escapes, he inadvertently frees the other prisoners too, one of whom is named Aldar and is played by Batista. One of his defined traits is he likes to eat people, or more specifically, he rips people open and consumes their bone marrow. That of course gets the attention of Clark Kent, and he goes to stop Batista's character. When they first meet, Aldar grabs Clark by the collar and uses his strength to chuck the Man of Steel into a crane. Clark recovers quickly, but by then, the supervillain is long gone. They face off again once Clark tracks Aldar down inside a warehouse. Demonstrating how strong he is, the animal blocks the punch from Superman and lifts him up over his head. Just as Aldar is about to snack on the superhero, he gets blasted by a mysterious figure and dies instantly. Unfortunately, Batista didn't get a whole lot of screen time in this role, and we didn't even get to see a proper fight with Superman. While the DC Universe didn't go so well for the animal, he's doing pretty well now over in the MCU. The next two WWE wrestlers appear later in Season 6, and they actually both show up in the same episode. First is Kane, who plays the role of a super powerful alien named Titan. Like Batista, Kane's character is freed from the Phantom Zone when Clark Kent escaped. Instead of eating people though, Titan just started going around and fighting anybody he could find. When we first see him, the Big Red Machine is a part of an underground fight club that streams their matches online. And no, it's not the WWE Network. Once Clark Kent finds out about Titan, he tries to figure out where the fights are being held. At the same time, Lois Lane is also looking into the case, and actually gets to the fight club first. When she arrives, Lois bumps into another WWE wrestler, Ashley Massaro, who plays the character Athena. Athena is a part of the illegal fight club, and once she realizes Lois is there to expose them, she tries to kill her. While Ashley's character doesn't go down without a fight, she does get knocked out thanks to Lois Lane having a background in the military, but even then, Lois still gets taken hostage. Meanwhile, Clark Kent figures out who is running the fights and where to find them. Not important, but Clark's friend, Chloe, makes this awesome wrestling reference. So I think I found our Vince McMahon wannabe, and he has total access- Moving on, Clark gets himself entered into the Fight Club, so he can take on Titan. Of course, you can't just go up against the main eventer right away, so the promoter sets up a fight between Clark Kent and Lois Lane. But the Man of Steel isn't having any of that, so he just starts destroying the place until the Big Red Machine shows up. Also, when the building starts falling apart, we see Ashley's character run away, and that's the last time she appears in the show. Like Batista, she didn't get to do a whole lot unfortunately, but she did get a short but good fight scene. Back to the battle, Kane starts the fight by taking a move out of his own playbook when he hits Clark with an uppercut that sends the red and blue superhero flying into the side of the cage. Unlike Batista's fight, Kane doesn't have to deal with any outside interference and really beats the snot out of Clark. Like any good match, before Titan can deliver the final blow, Clark makes a comeback and ironically enough, also performs a Superman punch. The battle comes to an end when Clark delivers probably the most dramatic uppercut ever. Wow. Anyways, Titan has just enough strength to get up and tell Clark had a good fight before dying. I think Kane's appearance in Smallville is the best, but how about you? Share which wrestler was your favorite in the comments, and also check out the video to the right that looks at every WWE wrestler appearance in DC's Arrowverse. I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.